every coin has two faces once upon a time a man and a lion were journeying together to kill to kill time they started talking for some time they talked happily but then one of them began to boast of his prowess and claimed to be superior to the other soon the argument heated up and there was a fear of a fight luckily they came to a crossroad where a beautiful statue stood and showed a man strangulating a lion that looked helpless and was ready to die the man said look there doesn't it prove my point mr lion the lion replied it's your view but if we lion make statues we shall show the man under the strong paws of a lion the man had no words to reply so they both cooled down and moved ahead that's the ending of this story our next story is excess of anything is bad once upon a time there was a pasture near the edge of a forest shepherds of the nearby villages came there with their flocks while the flocks grazed the shepherds spent their time playing various games at the end of the pasture there was a big tree having a big hollow but with a narrow opening to get in the shepherds used to put their lunch packets in that hollow in the afternoon they took them out and enjoyed their midday meals together one day a hungry fox happened to come that way he got the flavor of lunch packets and followed it to reach the hollow his belly was sunk inside due to hunger so he was able to get inside the hollow without much difficulty he ate up the contents of all the lunch packets his belly puffed up on both sides and he was not able to come out of the hollow soon the shepherds came there for the lunch packets they found the fox there and gave him a sound beating that's the ending of this story our next story is fight always gives bad result one day two friends while walking along the road saw a nice rope lying by its side both wanted to have it and started fighting for it one held it from one end and the other from the other end they started pulling the rope suddenly the rope broke off from the middle one of them fell in mud and the other in a drain a passerby who was watching all this went to them and said fighting for a thing always gives bad results the friends felt ashamed of their deed and that's the ending of this story our next story is foolish friend worse than a foe once upon a time a deer fell ill so he came to a grassy patch of land and lay down there in a day or two he became so weak that he could not even move his body within no time the news of his illness spread all over and many of his friends came to inquire after his health evidently they were all grass eating animals they stayed with the deer to nurse him in a few days they grazed all the grass of the patch and not even a blade of grass was left there in a few days the deer started getting well saying this his friends started leaving him one by one and the deer was left all alone but still he was too weak to get up and move about as his friends had grazed all the grass of the patch and he was weak to go grazing he starved to death had his friends not grazed the grass in the patch he would have fed on it and lived and that's the ending of this story next story is friendship is a strong weapon it was a hot summer day a lion went to a pool to drink water 
just then a pig also came there to quench his thirst. Both of them wanted to drink first. They looked at each other with bloodshot eyes and attacked each other with so much anger that soon they started bleeding. Feeling tired, both stopped for a while to be fresh. Suddenly, they heard the screams of vultures. They saw that a large number of vultures were looking at them with longing eyes. In no time, both the beasts understood that the vultures were waiting for one of them to be killed by the other so that they might feed on his dead body. So both of them became friends quenched their thirst and went away. Thus, their friendship saved their lives. And that's the ending of this particular story. Next one, greet a curse. Once upon a time, there lived a cloth merchant in a village with his wife and two children. They were indeed quite well off. They had a beautiful hen which laid an egg every day. It was not an ordinary egg, rather than a golden egg. But the man was not satisfied with what he used to get daily. He was a get rich thrice kind of a person. The man wanted to get all the golden eggs from his hen at one single go. So one day he thought hard and at last clicked upon a plan. He decided to kill the hen and get all the eggs together. So, the next day, when the hen laid a golden egg, the man caught hold of it, took a sharp knife, chopped off its neck, and cut its body open. There was nothing but blood all around, and no trace of any egg at all. He was highly grieved because now he would not get even one single egg. His life was going on smoothly with one egg a day, but now he himself made his life miserable. The outcome of his greed was that he started becoming poorer and poorer day by day and ultimately became a pauper. How jinxed and how much foolish he was. So the moral of the story is one who desires more loses all. One should remain satisfied with what one gets and that's the ending of this story.